I do right. right. Well, you do believe in something. No. You that, believe that you believe that you exist, right? Yeah. Okay. That, that is philosophy. So you I believe right. I live quite within so, so you're putting your faith in the belief that you exist as an entity who can communicate with other entities, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay, so how are you justified in believing that? Uh, that is uh, cognitive argosum, because I can think, I must be, otherwise I couldn't think. Well, you're using the word I to describe yourself, that's yeah. a singular um, pronoun. So, how are you justified in using the singular pronoun I when the, the perceptions of your consciousness could belong to different entities and maybe you should be saying we? How do you know? Maybe. Okay, so you've chosen to put your faith in the belief that you are one entity with a consciousness, I'm right? I'm not even saying but, I'm one entity. I mean, basically, it's my brain that's telling me that, but my brain must exist, otherwise it couldn't tell me that. Well, you don't, how do you know that brains exist? You, don't, you can't demonstrate that according to your worldview. How, in the, how could you prove that, that brains exist? I mean, where, how can you show me your God? How can you show me that your God exists? Well, the demonstration that my God exists is that if my God didn't exist, you wouldn't be able to demonstrate anything. So. That's because we, I need revelation from an all-knowing being to tell me the, what the true nature of reality is for me to know what the true nature of reality is. I need to put my faith in revelation from somebody who has all the facts, who can tell me what the true facts are, and can, who can tell me what the facts are so I can know. But since I don't have all knowledge and you don't have all knowledge, we're finite, limited beings, there's always something that we don't know that could invalidate everything we think we know if there is no revelation from an all-knowing being to tell us what the true nature of reality is. Exactly. And this so, is why I say, why I don't say that you are wrong, but you're always saying, oh, if they believe that, they are wrong. Well, I'm not saying they well, are wrong. I, I, I see that there is a possibility that you may be right, but I just don't believe it. I, I believe that the probability is much more on my side that I'm right. Well, you're putting your, well, it's not because you're putting your faith in the limited consciousness. You're putting your faith in yourself who doesn't have all knowledge. I'm putting my faith in revelation from an all-knowing being who does know all the facts. Yeah, so what you're know. putting your faith in doesn't provide a foundation for knowing things. What I'm putting my faith in does. So that's why it's different. And that's why mine is better than yours. And that's why mine is, that's why I'm justified. Well, that's and that's why you, mine yeah, is that's true. That's what you believe. That's what you believe. And well, how, believe how can... Why would you put your faith in revelation from limited consciousness when you could put your faith in a worldview in which there's revelation from unlimited consciousness? No, because there is never any proof. And I, I, I rather believe in less knowledge that is proven than in anything that is not proven. Well, how do you prove things in your worldview? How could you possibly prove something if you don't know the nature of reality? Science, well, science. Well, how can you do science and do experiments if you don't know that your perceptions of a reality are correct? Because they could be wrong because you don't have all knowledge, right? That, that is not true. Well, how can you be justified in believing the scientific experiments are true if you don't know everything and you could be wrong? It, it, how do you know? You can't be justified in believing in that, right? Knowledge is justified true belief. You need to be justified in the things that you believe in. And you're not justified when you appeal to limited consciousness that doesn't know everything and that could always be wrong. This has nothing to do with appeal. This has to do with proof. You're trusting you in it. You actually are the one who is appealed to something that is not proven. Well, how do you, again, how do you prove things? How, how could you... Show me your proof. Will my you, proof, where, where my is proof God? is where that is I... God? My where, proof... Where, where, where is he? Let me tell you. Yeah. The proof that God exists is that without him, you can't prove anything. He's the foundation for proof. That's you have to presuppose him in order to prove things. You have to put faith in him in order to prove things. But what you're putting your faith in, you can't... No, You're not justified anything. in saying this is proof. In anything. What? I don't put any faith in anything. You do. No. You believe. You put your faith in the belief that you exist as one entity with one consciousness, correct? That's yes. why you're trying to communicate with me as another entity with a consciousness, right? That is just because I can think, therefore I have to be. That's all. But you don't... But true. you can't say that thinking is proof that you exist that's as an entity. Exactly no, because the different perceptions of your consciousness can belong to different entities. And you can't use the word I and be justified in believing that you can use the word I. So every time you say the word I, yeah. you're putting blind faith no. in the belief that you exist as an entity. No. Yes, you do. No. All right. Anyway, I mean, we are kind of, uh, we started with that discussion. We are, we will never... We will never agree on these things, I understand. But anyway, I mean, you have your uh, opinion, I have mine. But I was just interesting how, uh, interested how, you, how your take is on, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and the problem is you are suppressing the truth about God, about God that you know deep down. Like, you know that God exists, but you don't want to acknowledge no, that. that's not true. 
And how can you say this? How can you know better what I know than, than I? Because God knows better. Yeah. And God says in the Bible that you know, in the book of Romans, yeah, that's just, that is the Bible so says that God has made himself evident to everyone so tell, that they're without I don't excuse. Tell me what you know either, so you should not tell me what I know. Either. I'm telling you what God says. Yeah. I didn't say it, God did. I'm telling you what God says. I don't believe in this God, okay? Right, and that is why you're not justified in saying the things that you're saying. You're saying that you believe that you exist, but there's no reason to believe that you exist. You're just putting blind faith in it. You're operating on blind faith. You are. You are. You have, you have probably studied the Bible very deeply. If you studied the philosophy as, as deeply as you did with the Bible, probably you would also believe that I have a reason to believe what I No, you don't. I've studied philosophy, oh, yeah. and, and I see that... Putting your faith in limited consciousness is not an epistemological foundation that works. You can't be justified in believing that you exist when you trust in these perceptions and your own interpretation of these perceptions that you have in your consciousness. You don't know what your consciousness is. That's, that's not true. That's exactly where everything starts. That's exactly where everything starts that you know that what you can trust and what you cannot trust. But again, the fact that I can think and you can tell me, yes, maybe I shouldn't say I, maybe I should say we, whatever. It yeah, doesn't matter you don't know. That there is something that perceives me as an individual and this thing, whatever it is, can think, but this tells me that this thing exists. And well, you, this thing I call I, you can, you can call it whatever you want, you but that means based on that fact, I exist. You can't prove that you're an individual. I, you can't yeah, prove that maybe, thinking maybe, happens. Yeah, maybe, what I'm is not, thinking? Maybe, what does thinking yeah. consist of? I don't know what you mean by what is thinking. Yeah, like, I mean, what, what, what is thinking? Can you describe what it is? Uh, it is... Uh, that's a good question. Um, like, how do you know that you're an individual? How do you know that you're an... Do you believe that you're an entity? Like, one entity? Well, it like, looks like, it looks like I am an individual because I have a discussion with another individual. Yeah, but maybe I'm a figment of your imagination. Maybe. maybe this is all just a disembodied consciousness. Maybe. maybe. How do you know? You don't know. Maybe. But if... It, but if <laughs> In your is, worldview. But if it is, it still means that you may not exist, but I do exist because I have... But, I am the one who have this. But you can't say I exist because it could be we. It could be maybe. multiple entities having these perceptions, maybe. Maybe. all their perceptions okay. coming together to make it look like I. Maybe. Anyway. And so you can't say I. Maybe. You can't yeah, be okay. justified in saying I. Is, is this, I mean, do we want to talk about I or we or what, what do we do? Well, I'm showing you that what you're putting your faith in is foolish and it doesn't uh, provide preconditions for intelligibility and knowing things. You need an epistemolo epistemological foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and you don't have that. You're not putting your faith in the right again, thing. You need again, to put your faith every, in the every, revelation every, from God that tells us every, the true nature of reality. Every religion, and there is, this is exactly the, the, the crux with all these religions. Uh, I wished, honestly, there were no ones because uh, on the one hand, maybe they are good in, in kind of giving you some guidance how to live, but on the other hand, so many wars have been fought for religions and, and because every religion, again, thought, okay, I'm the right one and whoever is wrong, I have the right to kill this Well, one. everybody right. has religion. You have a religion. No, I don't have A religion is just a belief that's, system that's that you use to make sense of reality. Atheism is religion. No, I, I'm, I'm not an atheist either. Or I'm, it might not be in a religion, but it is... Atheists anyway, are but religious. Do we, do we agree that uh, religions have their bad things too, and in the, especially in the past? Look well, at, false look, religions. Look, look at the Catholic religion. Uh, they, in, in, in the Middle Age, they basically were uh, detaining all the people from any education, keeping them dumb, because dumb, they were basically better to control. And they had just uh, infurious uh, punishments for, for, for nothing. They were they were they were fighting with any other religion who also believed that uh, that, that well, was the, the, the true one. How can you know what's right or what's wrong? How can you say these things are bad in your worldview? Well, I believe that suffering is bad for anyone. Is that regarding. just is that objectively wrong, or is it just your opinion that it's wrong for people to suffer and that shouldn't happen? Well, I mean. Uh, you you don't want this this little guy to suffer. Right, because this, he's created here? he's created in the image of God. I have yeah, a reason for that. But in your worldview, you don't have a reason for that. Well, okay, but in your worldview, so are, are you are you basically defending that? Let's say all these uh, what's called uh, the, the the crucible wars, or how do you call it? The crusaders. The crusaders. That I don't know. I'm not right? defending that. 
okay. I, I mean, that was the Catholic but, Church. But, but, I'm not part of the Catholic Church. Yeah, I understand, but anyway, it's, it's just a different kind of religion who claims to be right in everything. Well, you have a religion too. You have a and, belief system. Yeah. You have a belief system that you use to make sense of reality. No, I don't. You are religious. No. And I, I, oh, the, what, what, I think what uh, uh, distinguishes me from you is that I leave the possibility that you are right. I, I, don't, I don't deny the, I don't say that there is definitely you, you cannot be right because I don't know that. And I think this is where we differ because you say I'm definitely wrong. I'm not saying this. You, maybe you are right, but to me, from what I know, you seem to be wrong. And, and that is what I say. But you say, no, I know exactly that you are wrong because I am right. And I'm not saying this. Can you, this, well, can this you is, prove that he is wrong? No, of course well, not. The, the well, yeah, there's nothing wrong with me saying I know the true nature of reality. And when you say, when you say I could be wrong, yeah. well, then you're, you're kind of giving up your worldview. You're, you're no. acknowledging that your worldview can't make sense of things. Because no, 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 if you could be wrong... That's then I mean, there, you can't know anything. You're, if, you, if there's no revelation from the all-knowing being to tell you what's right and what's wrong, what's true and what's not true, how can you be justified in saying that you exist? Look, science, science has has been has been developed for I don't know thousands of years. How do you know that? And and what 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 they what they knew maybe uh, two thousand years ago is, is far less than what we know today. But even today, we know that. Uh, yeah, we only know a fraction of what is happening. Things get too heated here. No, it's not heated. Everything's fine. And what he's doing is full of... He's full of the yeah, we're fine. Everyone fine. has the right to their opinion. Yeah, of okay. course. Yeah, we're... Me too. Alright, yes you do. We so are, let's we're, just keep it there. Okay? Yeah, sure. We're not doing anything yeah. wrong. I know. I thought the East Coast is a little bit, you remind me on, on California, everybody has, everything has to be sugar-coated, you cannot say anything anymore because there might be a dispute. I'm we're just, just, we're just, just having a discussion. You. We're just having just a discussion. leave it peaceful. Sure, I mean, so you, I will not attack you, you will not attack me, all right? Can all right. we agree on that? Yeah. Cool. yeah. We are not... What he's doing, he has illegal uh, rights. Yes, of course. I'm, so of let's course. just keep it calm, right? Yeah, sure. Because I can... I mean, so, there, right. I, have good there is Frederick Douglass. Without struggle, there is no progress. All right. Where are we? Anyway, okay. Maybe maybe we'll leave it that way. Well, um, well I'm. You're saying that things are wrong, and I and I want to tell you in your worldview, you don't really have a reason to believe that certain things shouldn't happen. Like, why is it? Why do you not want suffering to happen? What is the reason that you don't want suffering to happen? Because basically, there is uh, what is called what is called the. Uh, I forgot it in English, in English. That is Kant's imperative, basically. What what you don't want to happen to you, you shouldn't do to somebody else. Obviously, you don't want to suffer. I'm sure you don't want. I, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. every human being can feel pain. Yeah, but why is it wrong for them to feel pain? Uh, why shouldn't they feel pain? Why do you think that it shouldn't be that they feel these chemical reactions and neurons firing in their brain? Because I don't like it personally, and I know. All the people I like, I know about, they don't like and it And why don't you like it? Why, what, what about it makes you not like it? Because that's exactly what pain is supposed to do. It is a, it is a reminder that something is wrong. That's, that's what it is. Physically. Well, it's, it's certain sensations. Excellent. And so you are, think are you, that they're wrong. I mean, you think that they shouldn't happen, but other people disagree with you and say that pain is good and that we should inflict pain on certain people. So why are they wrong and you're right? Is it just two different opinions, or is there an actual objective standard by which you can say this is actually objectively wrong or objectively right? Okay, let, let me say this. Why, if, 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 so it looks, it looks like to me that you are questioning that suffering is bad. Okay, if suffering is not bad, then what's wrong with let this guy suffer? Well, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to show you your own worldview. I believe suffering is bad because okay. God created us in his image, and he tells us to love our neighbor as ourself. To do unto others as they would have us do un as we would have them do unto us. And so <clears throat> when we see people in pain, we should love them by helping them get out of the pain, right? We should have empathy and do for them what we would want them to do for us. That's what God commands us to do. Because we don't want pain. But I'm saying if God doesn't exist and there's no revelation from him telling you to love your neighbor as yourself then 
why is pain bad? If, the, if there's no revelation that people are created in the image of God, because you why is pain feel bad? It because you can feel it. You also. can feel it. You yes. can feel and that. And you can also ask, you can also get the feedback from another person that maybe you are. Uh, so you don't like it and other people don't like it, but there's other people yeah. who do like pain yeah. and there's other people who do get pleasure from inflicting pain yeah. on other people. So yeah, are they, they wrong yeah, they, or is it just their opinion and that's it's, well, well, it's cool okay, with wait, you, it's, wait, they can do uh, what, they, what makes them happy. Because okay. it makes you happy to take people out of affliction, but it makes them happy to put okay. people in affliction. You are talking about maybe sadists and masochists. And, yeah. and, and if a sadist yeah. tortures someone who is not a masochist, obviously that's wrong because that other person does not like to be tortured. Okay, that's your opinion though. That's no, what that you other, say. That, no, that's it's, not, it's not objectively wrong in your worldview. It's just your yeah, opinion. What, what, what are you talking about? I mean, because, uh, because, because it's the sadist's opinion that it's good for people to feel pain and for him to inflict no, pain on other no, people. No, that, that, that's not even true. It's just, it yeah. just gives him satisfaction. It, yeah, and so he thinks that's good. That's why he does it. Yeah. He thinks giving himself satisfaction is good. That's and, why he and does you, it. And, and, but okay, I mean, I think as, as far as, as long as a sadist meets a masochist and they both agree that, okay, let's do that, I think that's fine. But, but it doesn't work if one of these guys is just kind of a, I don't know how to call it, a regular human being and that just feels like probably 99% of the humanity or mankind feels. And then it's not okay because you are. They have a different opinion than you. That's you all you have is opinions. So you are uh, okay. Let's. It's just a bunch of different well, opinions. Well, that's all you I have in your worldview. Okay, are you saying that? Let's say I take me. A sadist comes to me, and because he just likes to torture me, which I obviously don't like to yeah. be tortured. So you say that the sadist has the right to do that? Do you say this? Well, there's no reason to say he doesn't have the right to do it in your worldview because that's what makes him happy, right? I mean, no, and why shouldn't, that, and, that's and that's his exactly opinion. That, no, that's, that's his opinion, exactly. you have your no, opinion. You don't like his opinion, no, but he doesn't like your opinion. No, <laughs> so it's just no. different opinions that oppose each other. So, that's uh, all you've got. There's can, no morality in your worldview. Can you answer this question? Yep. Again, my question is putting me into the guy who, who has to suffer because a uh, sadist just uh, wants to torture me. So are you saying that the sadist has a right to do that or not? That's what I don't Well, in the biblical worldview, which is the true worldview in the real world, no, he doesn't have the right to do that. God yeah. commands him to not do that. In but in your worldview, world view, in which there's no view, God, my, the, of course he has every right to do that. God. I don't need God. That's what you don't understand. You do. I, no, that's the 